Welcome one and welcome all to the People's Channel. Welcome back to Orchids for Dummies. Yes, God. Now, Foul Pals, in today's video, I will be giving you a compilation of different Phalaenopsis orchids so you will be able to discern if the orchid is alive or, in fact, is dead. Stay tuned! Foul Pals, this video was inspired by my Foul Pal Vanessa from Facebook. Happy birthday, Vanessa! She and I and some of our other foul pals were having a conversation about would they rather the phalaenopsis have roots or leaves on it, okay? And a lot of a lot of them were saying, well, I would rather it has roots because as long as it has roots, it's going to be able to provide it nutrients and it might be able to produce a kiki, which is a small immature plant or replica of the mother plant. And all in all, I had to persuade them that as long as you have leaves on your phalaenopsis, your phalaenopsis is alive. So the short answer is, you see this orchid right here? Now, you know mama now has a reputation of saving orchids. Honey, this is an orchid mama can't save, okay? This, this orchid right here, this phalaenopsis orchid that has roots. It's dead. It's not coming back, boo-boo. And you want to know why? Because this right here, the stem, axis, the stalk, whatever you want to call it, boo-boo. This is, in fact, what is the orchid's first and most vital organ. This would be the orchid heart, if you will, the heart of the orchid. This is where all of the new leaves everything is going to come from. Now, if it gets all brown dry like this, baby, nothing is going to come from that ever again. No, nothing will grow from the roots because that is now, that is not how the Phalaenopsis orchids grow. On the other hand, you'll have um, Phalaenopsis orchids that is like this, that is very problematic. This is an orchid that's been in my collection since May of this year, and predominantly the whole entire time she's been in my collection, she has had some type of problem where the leaves just disintegrate, honey. Do you have a phalaenopsis with variegated leaves that disintegrates on you, honey? I didn't think so. So, even though um, she is giving me all the wrong problems at all the wrong time and had not produced me any new roots. And you see, this is also an orchid that was almost one of those terminal spikes. So this is an orchid that is going through a lot in life right now, but mama is still alive. There is still hope to revive this species, Phalaenopsis. All you have to do, honey, all you have to do if you have sick orchids, just give them a little care. They love sphagnum moss. Now, some of you might say, hey, why do you have that rock on top of that orchid? Here on Orchids for Dummies, the people's channel, I love feeding my orchids organically. Because when I was using those store-bought um, um, fertilizers, not the better grow, but when I was using those store-bought Fertilizers. I was over fertilizing, burning roots, uh, making my pots very acidic, all of the wrong things. So even though this is going to be the most minute um, sources of calcium for my for my phalaenopsis, that is still in fact what is going to happen. So um, this is an orchid that does not have a lot of leaves, but she has produced new roots for me. And she is definitely on the verge of making a complete comeback. So that is how you save your Phalaenopsis orchids. If you want to know more details about that, I have a whole playlist. I will leave a video link above, okay? Stay tuned. Yeah, fam, pals, it's that time, honey. Blue is gone. I am somber. We got back from Redlands, and honey, blue was just taken away. 
Now, I am not sure what the cause could be. I will leave all of the videos and you guys will be the detective darling. But um, as I can recall, I did coat um, these bark chips with calcium overnight, which is, I guess, honey, I was trying it. And also, you have had people to say that the smooth surfaces um, touching the roots is not good for your Phalaenopsis orchid. Well, Fal Pals, honey, blue is gone. My first orchid just add ice. I'm really somber, but honey, just stay tuned for that. Next up on the list of my Phalaenopsis, I want you guys to be able to differentiate between a Phalaenopsis that is taking a winter rest and a Phalaenopsis that has been set back. Now, when a Phalaenopsis orchid has been set back, it will give you a very stunted new growth, meaning that the new leaf is going to be a lot smaller in proportion to the previous leaf. That's also how you can be able to tell the story of a Phalaenopsis to see what she has gone through in her life. Now, this answers the question that my foul pal Danielle asked me. Can a Phalaenopsis grow two leaves at the same time? In most cases, no, Danielle. They will not grow the same leaf at the same time. In fact, it has been long enough for you to be able to tell us if the leaves that you was questioning it about actually grew out it, or if they were stunted growth like this. Now, foul pals, when you have an orchid that is um, set back or an orchid that is taking a winter rest, this is my Phalaenopsis Maria that kept reblooming and reblooming. So she's tired, honey. She needs a re, uh, she needs a nice little rest. This one right here, she needs to continue to be pampered so she would um, continue to grow because she's stressed out and she's just halted her growth um, to understand what is going to be the next step. So, foul pals, that's how you will be able to tell a Phalaenopsis that is taking a winter rest and a Phalaenopsis that's been set back. Both Phalaenopsis, give them two months at the most and you will see a change. Just take care of them in the meantime, watering them a little less not fertilizing at all. Stay tuned. For you to see quickly, honey, what was left of her before I moved her. I have to mop my floor now. Y'all, I'm so sorry, Fal Pal Brian. We will figure this out, darling. Stay tuned. Orchid Diva! Yes! This is my Phalaenopsis that was sent to me from my dear Fal Pal Orchid Diva. Blanca, what's the tea, girl? How you doing, girl? So, um, honey, this orchid has seen better days. Now, this is another one of those orchids that um, I show you has a lot of beautiful roots, but the um, crown, the axis of it is just not doing too good at all. Now, this is just a simple video showing you an orchid that is alive and dead, so you will be able to discern that for yourself. But in this scenario, when you have so many leaves that is compacted up under or close to the moss, it will make um, it get fungus and those leaves, they just fell right on off. They fell off. But I will give you guys an update on my um, all of my orchids from Orchid Diva. Coming soon. Stay tuned. You. Now, as you know, this is the orchid that you sent me and I was just about to throw away until I saw that new root. Um, if you guys didn't get a chance to see it, go check out update seven. But um, I left it in some water because I had placed it in um, moss. And once I put it in the moss, I saw that it started to grow mold. So I quickly took it out. But you gotta remember, this was already a sick orchid. And anytime you have a sick orchid trying to save itself, it's gonna be very hard and futile. Now the water is all filled with mold and icky and yucky and stuff like that. I'ma just go ahead and discard it. Sorry, foul pal Danielle. If I was only able to keep my eyes on it and stay with it day by day, it would have made it for sure. Stay tells you will sometime come across Phalaenopsis orchids that you will see bare rooted like this. And it could be because of various different reasons or various reasons. Now, this Phalaenopsis right here, both right now, because my growing method, when I have a Phalaenopsis with really bad roots like this, okay, 
this orchid isn't dead. It was just um, potted improperly. I had it in one of those plastic pots as an experiment. And as you can see, she was not happy at all. So this is a lot of rotten roots. Now, the last orchid that I showed, you had no roots at all. But still, both orchids have the opportunity to grow new roots. That's what they do, honey. Every spring and summer, they get to grow in their roots. That's natural. And they're going to reproduce leaves. Now, that leads me to another orchid, okay? As you can see, this baby right here has a split leaf and the leaf is going to continue to split because she is under a lot of stress. That does not mean that she is dead. It just means that she is stressed out and we have to act quickly, quickly acting to get her into a, um, a setup that is going to be appropriate for her. Now she is also, um, she is also dealing with a lot of that white mold, okay? If you don't know how to get rid of that black mold or if you are just um, uneducated about it, I will leave a video card, video card above, baby. I'm sorry, honey, okay? We rocking and rolling. We rocking and rolling. But like I said, the reasons what differentiates this orchid or these orchids from the last dead orchid is because it has leaves, okay? The axis has no crown right in the middle of it. Should be green, okay? It should be green. It should be black, blue, or purple. It should be none of that. None of that, okay? So I'm going to give you one last example before I conclude. Stay tuned. So last up on the list, foul pals, it's just going to be a phalaenopsis that's in due for repotting. As you can see, this miniature phalaenopsis has very beautiful leaves. Um, but when you take a closer look and you get to seeing all the decaying matter and you see all the black roots, um, it just is very dis encouraging and to new beginners who are growing for the first time you might look at this and say hey my orchid is dying no baby all it needs is a good repotting if you want to know how i repot all of my phalaenopsis orchids for the new years you have to stay tuned baby stay tuned to the people's channel well foul pal vanessa foul pal danielle all of my new beginners i hope i was able to Solve your answer. How to differentiate a Phalaenopsis orchid that is dead and gone from one that just needs a little TLC, one that needs a little reviving. We all could use a revival these days. Well, foul pals, with that being said, until next time.